Hi everyone, this is Donna again for the Art of Paper Craft. I just wanted to show you quickly a book that I've just finished making for my sweet friend Robin who lives in Ireland. Her YouTube name is Enjoy Stamping. Um, this is basically the same idea as my ideas book that I showed you a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Robin left me a really sweet comment saying that she adored the one I'd made. So I thought, right, okay, she's she means the world to me. I can't believe how lucky I am to have her as a friend. So I decided that I would put one together for her. So this is Robin's book. And if any of you follow Robin, especially her blog, you'll know she's been growing sunflowers in her garden this summer. So I decided to use Tilda with sunflower. And I'm going to try and bring it in, but it's going to go yellow because you know what my camera's like. This is Tilda. And then I've used some silk flowers and some paper flowers for my flower arrangements. And then again, as I explained with my one, I don't have Prima Bling, so I've made my own with the individual rhinestones. So yes, every one of those stones has been stuck on individually by hand. And it's the first time I've done flowers that haven't glimmer misted. I can't believe it, but I didn't get glimmer misted. And there's nothing against you, Robin. I would quite happily use every ounce of glimmer mist I have on it, but they just didn't seem to need it. And then I've added her name that I put glitter over, and then I've sealed with glossy accents so that the glitter doesn't rub off. So that's her book. And then the same papers on the back that have been Mod Podge, so if it's on her desk and something spills, it's protected with the Mod Podge. And then I've even put the papers inside and this time I've just used a varnish that's supposed to be for varnishing wooden things but we never use it. I bought it to just a mural in my girls room when they were really little and I used it to seal the mural that I painted on their wardrobe so I just had some left so I sealed the paper in the back in the front with that and it's called dead flat. Um, let's see if I can grab it. Uh, it's just an acrylic decorator's varnish, so I just used that over it just to seal the paper and just protect the paper inside and then she's got the paper inside so she can use it for whatever she wants. So that's her book. So it's just a quick video, just wanted to show you this. It's Robin. I was going to keep it and film it with some other bits but um, I just wanted to also just quickly say I'm sorry if I've made anyone feel odd about what I said in my last video about me being cynical about crafters. That was previously. That was when I worked as a demonstrator and a teacher in the craft industry and other things that have happened prior to me doing videos and joining the communities like the Scrap Beach and the Paper Pantry. Prior to those, um, it's people like Robin and Claudia and Jules and quite a few others who I'm not going to go through every name because then I will forget one person, and I don't want somebody to think they're not important to me when they all are. Um, but if it wasn't for these ladies, I probably wouldn't be doing the videos. I probably wouldn't be doing a lot of things because I was fed up. I was fed up of being used, I was fed up of things that were happening, but I'm not going into that. I said enough in the last video. But I just wanted to let people know that it's thanks to all of you, all of you that leave the comments, all of you that send me a quick message, are you okay? How are you feeling? You're doing alright this week? It's all of you that have changed how I've felt for the last four years. I've been very cynical about crafters for the last four years and to be quite honest, when people said to me crafters are the most wonderful people in the world, I used to say, yeah, until they stab you in the back. But YouTube and the Beach Girls and the Pantry Girls, etc. have all proved to me that the ones that were doing that to me were the minority, thankfully, and that a very, very, very large majority hence all of you, are fab. And I truly mean this from the bottom of my heart. 
you are all amazing ladies and gents and there's a few gents as well I don't want to leave you out guys but you are amazing people and I thank you for taking that cynical cloud away because it was stressing and it was annoying and it got to the stage where I don't want to go too much more into it but it got to the stage where I was ready to sell everything I'd had enough of crafting I was sick to the back teeth of the craft industry and at Christmas, last Christmas, I decided I was going to sell everything, and my husband said, just leave it, just take a break, don't do anything over Christmas and that. So I resigned from all the design teams I worked on last year, and gave it a break, and then in the new year I started a mini album for my mum, and that led me to looking for supplies for minis, because I hadn't really done minis, I'd only really done scrapbook pages and cards. And then I met you guys, and it's gone from there and you've completely changed to the point that I now love crafting again and I love being part of the craft community again whereas I'd been part of craft communities before and I got fed up of the politics and thankfully you ladies and gents do not have those politics so I thank you so much for that and I mean every word of this from the bottom of my heart and I just wanted to say I'm sorry if I said anything wrong in the last video. Um, you'll learn with me that I'm not very good at explaining things with words. I, I don't have any problem if I'm teaching you how to use things. I'm probably okay with words there, but when it comes to explaining what I mean with things, I'm pretty bad. And sometimes it is the medication. I get very confused. When you're on strong painkillers, they can be quite confusing, and that's part of it. But... I just wanted to say I'm sorry if I upset anyone or I made anyone feel oh, she doesn't trust us all. I do. I think you're all fabulous, fabulous people and I thank you for changing my opinion. So, there's another reason for doing the video now. Really, more than anything, I wanted to show you Robin's book. But I also wanted to say I'm sorry if I upset anyone with what I said in the first one. And, yeah, that's it. I'm not saying any more on it. I'm not bringing it up anymore. That's enough. That's me done. And I'll hopefully be back soon with some more things. Now the kids are back at school, um, I'm finding it a bit easier to, as I call, work. So hopefully I'll have a few more things for you soon. And I, as I said when I did the last video, I'm off to see what you guys have been up to now. Um, I know as it's now gone three in the morning that I should really be sleeping, but... Yeah, I sleep when I can, so. And I need wind down time before I go to sleep. I'm about to take my tablets so that I can get some sleep. And they take about an hour to work, so. Now is my hour or so watching what you guys have been up to the last few days. So I'm off to do that. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Take care. And thanks again for everything you all do. You are amazing, amazing people. Take care, ladies and gents. Speak to you soon. Bye.